churches uh, and specifically married couples within churches need to be careful and wise about the narrative we live and the narrative that we share. Mm. And this, we already talked about this a little bit at the church level and what churches and past, what pastors say from the stage, what programs churches are putting out, the emphasis that churches are placing. But I also think married couples within those churches, the way that they talk about marriage with their friends, the way that they portray their marriage online, Mm -hmm. because nowadays each and every one of us sort of has this platform where people, I mean, we have one because we have a podcast and, you know, I am a quadruple Z list, you know, Christian public figure, but like your A list in my heart, baby. Are, but <laughs> thanks. Thanks. I appreciate that. But there are people who sort of look to our marriage, you know, young people and they say, Oh, wouldn't it be nice to be like Goals. that? And everyone has that, right? Yeah. Everyone has those five or six couples that they follow on Instagram or that they look to and they say, Oh, they are goals. I think your normal average everyday person an everyday couple needs to start thinking about the message that they portray specifically online and in their church community about their marriage. And I have this quote um, from Deborah K. Filetta. Uh, She's a writer for Relevant Magazine, and it says, I think we need to be really careful with the formulas and anecdotes that we offer people in the pursuit of marriage, because the truth is God has never been one to conform to our cookie-cutty cookie cutter answers. Um, and in essence, marriage is not easy and it is not one size fits all. Mm -hmm. Any thoughts on that? Yeah. I think this is something, another epidemic. I think that specifically millennials, I see a lot of couples our age that are influencers. Listen, if you have one follower on Instagram, this is what Jenna Kutcher says, you are an influencer. Absolutely. And you have to take that responsibility. You know, you can't take it lightly, especially if you have young people looking up to you, I think. Yes. And there are many couples that I see out there that I know personally, or I just happen to follow online that I think are portraying their relationship and their marriage in an unrealistic light. Mm -hmm. Just like there are people online who are portraying their life in an unrealistic life that makes everything look perfect, polished. And listen, like I love a good Instagram feed. (laughs) I love a good theme. You know me. I love sharing happy moments and cute photos. Yes. But I am never going to try to say that John and I have never gotten in a fight. That's ridiculous. Right. Like I portray that unspoken. Yeah. You know? Yeah. Like I'm never going to pretend that our marriage is 100% perfect and we never have to work at anything and we never get angry with each other and we never fight and we never have bad days because it's just unrealistic. And I think the danger there is if we were to do that, say that we, you were to have the following that you have online Mm -hmm. and we were to never mention anything bad in our marriage. We're just happy. We're perfect. Everything is good. Everything is grand. Then these young people who are looking up to you, that's going to be their standard. That's the standard. That's what they expect. When they get into a relationship and they fight it's a healthy, normal fight. And they think, well, John and Aaron don't fight. Mm-hmm. This can't be right. Yeah, That's so dangerous. And now I'm not talking about if you're in a relationship that's unhealthy or abusive or anything like that. That's obviously a different realm. I'm just talking about normal relationship pains, mm-hmm. normal things that you have to go to when you're sharing your life with another human. Yeah. And so that's what gets me riled up is when people I think are unrealistically posting online. Cause I, th- I guess at the heart of it, I think it's a form of lying mm. and there's something, you know, there's something to be said about only wanting to share the positive things online and keep a positive mindset a hundred percent. But I think there's a danger zone there when we step into the realm of like lying almost mm-hmm. under it. Mm-hmm. 